Gabby. And my name is Mike. And today, not only is it Thursday, we are filming the 2023 Hyundai Ionic 6 Ultimate. So like I promised earlier in the week, we're finally getting these Ionic 6s. You guys wanted to see the Ultimate and we want to talk about it. Yes. So we're going to do a full walk around interior exterior. We're going to answer guys' questions as well. This is a live video, so if you want to go straight into the walk around, skip to the three-ish minute mark because me and Mike are going to chat to our live viewers for a couple minutes. Yes. So number one, we do these lives every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to join a live, be sure to check out those time frames. Um, we do these videos for three reasons. So what's number one, Mike? Yeah, number one, if you own a Kia or a Hyundai and you want more information about mm -hmm. it, or you're interested to see a little more of what's in the brands, mm -hmm. um, this is the channel for you, right? Loaded with videos, loaded with walk rounds, reviews, uh, test drives. Yeah, I gotta say, if you have a question about a Kia or a Hyundai, we've done a video on that. Yes, <laughs> like, exactly. Almost everything, we've done yeah, a video on that. we even do a Q&A <laughs> yes. once a month, right? Yes, we do. Perfect. So that's not reason number one. If you own one, this is a place for you to get your information. Yeah, we're like an owner's manual, but hopefully a bit more entertaining, I mm -hmm. hope. Um, number two, if you are considering a new vehicle, we want you to add Kia or Hyundai, or both of them, to your selection list. These vehicles offer so much value, they have great features, they look amazing, and they're at a great price point. And number three, if you are going to buy one, a Kia or a Hyundai, why not buy from us? Why not? <laughs> yes, we've got three locations, two mm -hmm. here in Brantford and then one up north, Owen Sound Hyundai. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, two Hyundais and a Kia and a Partridge and a Pear Tree. Yes, you got it. <laughs> so everything you can need and more. <laughs> um, next up, we're going to show you guys how to join the live video. So if you want to catch our next live stream, like I mentioned, every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all you have to do is go to the Kia Hyundai channel on YouTube. If you're already watching this video, congrats, you found it. If you want, you can also subscribe, but only <laughs> if you want. <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah. On this main page here under home, you'll be able to catch our upcoming video, but also if you go to live, you'll see it as well. Most of our videos are lives, I will say that. However, if you're looking for something specific, whether it be a specific vehicle or a specific feature, there is a search um, option on our channel where you can search whatever it is you're looking for. Chances are we've done a video on it. So I'm just gonna click on this video here. You may have to watch an ad. Yeah, you might. <laughs> oh, okay. Or do a survey. Yeah, or do a <laughs> survey, I guess. So skip ad. But something that's very different is you'll see on the very far right, we have a live chat box. So over there, you guys can ask us questions in real time. Usually while we're showing the car, we can't really see the questions come in. So towards the end of the video, we'll we'll come back to this um, main screen here and read them off the screen for you guys. Try to answer all your questions, maybe chit chat a little bit. It's usually never that serious. All right, <laughs> now we'll get into the vehicle. So the Ionic 6 is based off the eGMP platform. So this shares a platform with vehicles like the Kia EV6, the Ionic 5 by Hyundai, and even the Genesis GV70. Um, it is our first sedan on the platform though. And let me tell you, this sedan is so, so spacious, whether you're tall, no matter how many kids you have in there, how many passengers, everyone will be very, very comfy. It shares the same battery capacity as the Ionic 5 in the Kia EV6. So this is a 77.4 kilowatt battery. Um, the range on this specific vehicle is 435 kilometers. So it is a little bit shorter than the all-wheel drive long range preferred and the uh, rear wheel drive, but still, it's a lot of range in this vehicle. And that's the rated range, so it could be a bit better. For our design, this is where this vehicle really sets itself apart from the rest of the vehicles in our lineup. Pixels everywhere, so your headlights, amber pixels and then of course your LED lights. There's a lot of little square pixel designs here and I'm gonna make you guys count how many you see. You don't have to count each individual square, but how many times you see it on this vehicle. Also in the front, we have these front sensors. So this is great for parking, especially with an EV. Chances are you're probably gonna park it at a garage a lot or in tight spaces, let's say wherever you can find a public charger. It's so nice to have those sensors there so you know just how close you are to whatever obstacles are around you. Also, they're not open right now, but over here we have these air vents and they are active. So they you will- the remote start it. Am remote open? start it? Yeah. Okay, give me a second. Because it happened when I did If it. it doesn't do it though, guys, I don't know what to tell Murphy's you. law. No, it's going to. I don't know. I've had it on for a while. It's already up to temperature. But let's see. I'm just going to close this here too. The anticipation. Right? Sorry, I just, I thought it was <laughs> cool when we first saw I'm like, these guys need to see this Oh, happen. it's wicked. All right, so I'm gonna remote start the vehicle by pressing lock and then pressing and hold the remote start button. Give it a second, the lights will turn on and the car will turn on. 
So yeah, it won't do it. Yes, it, it did. Oh, did it? Oh my gosh. Boom. Check that out. <laughs> and then goes back down. So another thing with this vehicle, it's all about aerodynamics. So we haven't gotten to the back yet, but when you do, you'll see our spoiler. Just everything they've added to this vehicle is all about efficiency. And of course, like I mentioned, aerodynamics. It's very sleek. It has a very streamlined appearance. Looks so, so good. All right, let's get on to wheels. So these are larger than our 18 inch. These are 20 inch alloy wheels. They are still efficient wheels. So this is gonna minimize, um, oh my gosh, minimize air resistance. I was about to say minimize airflow, but that's a good thing. Minimize mm -hmm. air resistance. <laughs> there we go. Um, and I will say these wheels look amazing. They look so good. They are large too. So it gives this vehicle a lot of stance. And of course, great range still. Um, for the mirrors, we have six more pixels. Look at that. You see they light up, so that'll also be your turn signal repeater. Just underneath the mirror, we do have our camera. So that is our side view or blind view camera. So whenever you signal a turn, whether it be on the highway or even just making a turn or parallel parking on a regular residential street, you're gonna get a live camera feed of whatever's in your blind spot. Oh my goodness, it is amazing. It's super crystal clear, super easy to see. It's just gonna be displayed on your main gauge cluster. Um, one of my favorite driving convenience features. I'll show you guys the sunroof. <laughs> so this is what it looks like open. I will say, I don't know if you're a sunroof person or not, um, it's very, very quiet still in this vehicle. It doesn't take up a lot of headroom and it looks amazing open. And it's so nice to have that open air feel while you are in the cabin as well. Now we'll come along to the back. Cool thing about the shark fin antenna, it's actually a um, transparent material. So Mike, I don't know if their camera will pick it yes, up, but if you get should. really close to it, you can actually see oh, through you can, it kind yeah. of. Isn't that cool? So that's not really a feature, but I thought it was pretty cool. And then now for our rear end, she's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now we have a high mounted stop lamp, which is also integrated into your spoiler up here. So once you're braking, this is actually all gonna light up and you can see we got a lot more, more pixels, pixels in there. Yeah. Oh my God. Is there a theme? <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking there's a theme. <laughs> it looks so, so good. It definitely reminds me of a classic Porsche you know what I'm talking about, 911 Turbo. Um, I love the influence, oh, yeah. I don't know if it's directly influenced, but that's what it reminds me of. Um, Ionic 6 right down here, and then some more pixels for our brake lamp here, your tail lights. Looks so, so good. I actually have to hit the brakes for you guys so you can see it in action. And the trunk opening, pixels as well. Yeah, let's, uh... let's hit the brakes. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> I really want to film a video of this vehicle um, at night showcasing all oh. the lights because not only are the exterior lights stunning and very, very unique, we'll show you the interior. You guys, mine's blown. <laughs> now we'll take a look at what's inside the trunk. It is a power tailgate. So all you have to do is press the button there or you can press the button on up right over there. You can also trigger it from your uh, steering wheel on the left side of the Now for our trunk space, it's pretty spacious for a sedan. Mind you, it's not a full size SUV, so it's not going to fit too many bodies, but you could, you could put a few. Mm. <laughs> um, for your seats, they do <laughs> fold down your very rear seats. All you gotta do is pull the pull tabs here and they'll split in a 60-40 split. You get a tire mobility kit with the vehicle that is Velcro, so it does. Ooh, okay, it's really stuck there. <laughs> and then underneath we have a little bit more storage and your level one charging cable that of course comes with your vehicle free of charge. I could appreciate that. You know how many times you're in the back, like driving and you oh, just yeah. hear things like just, it sucks. It totally yeah. sucks. So it's really nice that that is Velcro to the seats or to the floor. We can close this up. And a really cool thing about these tailgates is you can actually choose how high they open. So if your garage has very minimal clearance and you don't want it to open this high, you can set it to only come down here. Or even if you're a shorter person, really convenient, nice to have. Close or if that you're up. impatient and yes. you don't want to wait for it to yeah, fully exactly. open. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Now over here, we also have our rear view camera. I always like pointing that out. Most people can find it, but if you're ever wondering, there's four cameras throughout the exterior of this vehicle. When it gets salty, sandy, muddy, whatever, it's always nice to get those wiped down so you can see from your high resolution cameras. Then also on the very back bumper, we have some more parking sensors. So great for reverse parking. Um, we love this at the dealership because we constantly have to fit a bunch of cars all close to each other. It's really nice to have. Um, and then just some more styling yeah. and then your reverse lights and turn signal repeaters back here too. More pixels. Yeah, more pixels. I think it looks so good. There's so much, if you really pay attention, look, there's more. Um, there's so much detail and design in this vehicle and you really gotta look at it. Open it up. 
There we go. What was that automatic? Yeah. Is that like a? Yeah, it's oh, a, wow. just a pressure point. <laughs> no, but I heard kind of like a motor. Oh yeah. Was, oh, and that's cool. Um, this is your state of charge. So right now we're about halfway to a full charge. Um, that will of course be four full light bars if we were full. You can also close it by powered here. And while we're looking at the charge port, let's talk about charging. So this vehicle does have the ability to charge with the 800 volt um, charger. So that is 10 to 80% in 18 minutes. That is crazy. Oh. So same as the Ionic 5 and the EV6. Um, that's of course with um, applicable chargers. That's cool. <laughs> so that's probably not <laughs> going to be your home charger, but if you can find a fast charger like that, it does have the capability to. This vehicle also does have a heat pump standard and battery conditioning. So it's ready for Canadian winters. Yeah, before you jump in, yeah. I just want to show the thing that I raved about in the door there. Oh, this? Yeah, so you could, it's blinking, but you can see that, you know, with the ambient light inside, that's mm -hmm. actually not light in the door. It's a design that's bouncing off. You yeah, know, bouncing into the off grooves. the ambient light lower in the door. Another cool thing, it's a little hard for me to show since I'm standing so close, but as you approach the vehicle with your key, it'll automatically unlock it for you. And then it will lock it when you walk away. You'll know when your doors are unlocked, when your handles are popped out. So you'll see, all our handles are out. And then the, um, sorry, the mirrors come out too as well, Yes, right? they yeah. do. Um, also great for city parking, you just hit lock or walk away from your car, it'll fold in for you. Makes you feel special when you come to <laughs> the car. Very yeah. special. Oh, it's so nice when you walk to your car and everything just opens up. It's like, yes, I am here, thank yeah. you. <laughs> all right, now for our doors. Let me know if you see anything missing from the door. Or not missing, but maybe relocated. Do you see any light switches, mirror controls? No. It's so minimalistic in here, but don't worry. We don't have to go into the screen to do basic tasks. Tesla, I'm looking at you. Tesla haters are going to come for me in the comments. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> over here we do have our memory seat buttons, and we still have our door unlock latch. So that's pretty standard, pretty much like a regular car. Over here you'll see a little bit of red, and that is from our ambient lighting. So we've had ambient lighting in our cars for a while now, but something that's very, very interesting is we have two tone out, which means I can have red up here and purple down here or green or honestly, whatever color I ever wanted. You get a choice from a full color wheel. You can match it too if you're not a fan of the two tone and it's speed sensitive. So for your front um, seats, driver and passenger, it can actually move with what speed you're going to. We've yet to try that, but Wait, I can't, what? I can't drive what do you mean it's speed set? Like when I don't you're know, going we'll have faster, to see it. we'll have to see it. Test drive it'll come <laughs> I don't know soon. if it gets brighter, or yeah, if it just moves, yeah, that's cool. but yeah, we'll have to see it. For our sound system, it is a Bose premium audio system. Bose is definitely one of my favorite audios. It's so crisp, so clear. Um, if you're a music fan, you'll love this. And then over here, this is where we're gonna get our mirror controls. So we have left and right, of course. We have a power fold option, which you can press whenever to fold in your mirrors or unfold them. Below that, you can adjust your mirrors. They are heated, I should also mention. And then here we have some extra buttons. So this is for your electronic parking brake, your traction control to turn off. This is to open your charge port, to open your lift gate, and then to change the brightness on your screens. So super, super simple, nice and easy. We have our trunk release right over there. And while I have that latched open, we can show you guys what is in the frunk, or what the frunk, I like to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right above the Hyundai H, we have access, it is hydraulic. Um, it's not much of a frunk, it's not huge, but it's there. <laughs> we still have our washer fluid reservoir, some coolant, and then of course your regular battery, your 12 volt battery. So that's the battery that'll power your small accessories and not the vehicle itself. But it's nice to still have some, it, I don't know, opening that up doesn't look too, too crazy. Do you know what I mean? It still looks like there's some vehicle in there. Um, for your real battery itself, that's actually located underneath the vehicle. And with that being there, our floor is completely flat, which means there's tons of room for space. Hyundai did a great job with this kind of bridge style center console. You can see we got a bunch of space underneath. You can put your bags there, lunch bag, whatever you need. You got room there. Small pets. Maybe not your pets. <laughs> iguana. <laughs> iguana. Yeah, iguana. We, ha we have a viewer that always says, put your iguana in there. Christian. Yeah, Christian. Your iguana goes right there. <laughs> um, you also have cup holders and the basics, but we'll get into that in a second. Okay. Right now we'll talk about the steering wheel. This steering wheel blew me away. It may just look like a steering wheel, and that's fair. It is a steering wheel. But look at these four center dots here, and look at them when I change my drive modes. You see it red, green when I'm in eco mode, white and normal. 
Not only that, but when you are plugged in, so to your charger, this is gonna show you your state of charge as well. So if you are sitting in your vehicle while it charges, you can see where you're at. Of course you'd see that on your gauge cluster anyway, but it's cool, you can't lie, it's a little bit cool. Now I'll have Mike come on over and we'll talk about everything else in this vehicle. They're also pixels. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're also pixels. <laughs> This is the perfect vehicle for a Minecraft fan. Yes, definitely. <laughs> See, look. Oh my, you're so, you're so right. All More throughout the vehicle. There. Literally all throughout. I even noticed, like, look at the map, that, like, everything. Yeah. You know, and in the Literally sun, everything. Yeah, everything um, even your wireless charger here. So this is ventilated, which means it won't let your phone overheat. When you do have it active, so when you do have a phone in there, this will light up. And it will tell you when your phone is finished charging, it'll turn green. So the amber lights, that means it's charging, will turn to green. Same completed. Um, I do want to say right off the bat, there's so much in this vehicle, technology-wise, safety-wise, even comfort-wise, but it doesn't look like that at first. And that's because they went with a very, very minimalistic design. I will say the materials in here, so your crash pad, your seats, your headliner, your carpets, they're all made out of recycled fibers. So it's a very, very um, su sub sustainable, sustainable yeah. substantial, sustainable vehicle. Um, they did their best where they could just to make this as green as possible. It's a yeah common misconception. Not all EVs are completely green. Of mm -hmm. course, there's still a lot that goes into them. Um, but yeah, of course, zero emission from, of course, the tailpipe. It's, it's a great vehicle. All right, now let's talk steering wheel and what else is on it. So we went over the dots, <laughs> the dots, the pixels. <laughs> on the left side, we have our driver assistance features. So right off the bat, you have your smart cruise control. You can turn that on to set your cruise control on. You can set your speed with the plus and minus on these toggles and then set your following distance with this button here. You have four preset following distance options to choose from, and it is adaptive. What that means is once I get onto the highway, if we hit stop and go traffic, this car will literally take me to a complete stop. Now, if I have that on and my steering assistance, it performs. It will literally take the curves of the road for me. I, it's almost like an autopilot. It's pretty darn close. And now for this vehicle, they've upped Highway Drive Assist to be even more smart. So this is Highway Drive Assist 2. It does full lane changes as long as my hands are on the steering wheel. All I got to do is signal my turn if I want to go left or right. And it will provide or perform the turn for me as long as it's safe. Now, another thing that they added. So we had that in the Ionic 5 and the EV6. Now we also have kind of a... I don't know what the correct word is for it. There's no feature word. But if I'm driving in my lane and the vehicle in the lane beside me starts to kind of not merge into my lane, but get very, very close to the lane dividers, it'll recenter my car so I'm not too close to them. That's super smart. And now it also picks up people that cut you off better too. So if someone cuts you off completely, it may take a second for your vehicle to react, but now it's much more smooth and it adapts to your driving style. It's very smart now. <laughs> She's not how she used to be. <laughs> And then also we have this button up here, which will change your media, or not your media, your info in the center. There we go. So that's our all-wheel drive traction control, our all-wheel drive, oh my gosh, torque distribution. Let's go, that's our lane assist, our drive info, and then our navigation. I'm just gonna take the camera from Mike to show you guys our heads-up display. So this is only in the ultimate trim level here in Canada. Oh my gosh, I can zoom in. Because the comments. Wait, wait oh, there the, we go. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you can see zero kilometers per hour. Of course, we're not driving, but you'll also see a lane right above that. That is going to pick up if there's a vehicle in front of me. So if I have my cruise control on and there's a car right ahead of me, it wants to keep it so their rear end is right at that line. And then the white square on the top right corner is our speed limit. So whatever road I'm on, it'll provide the speed limit for me. Right now, we're in our video bay. There's no speed limit here. It's like the Autobahn. You can do whatever Wait, you want. I gotta zoom that <laughs> out. There we go. <laughs> Too close to, I hope you guys can't see my pores. Okay. <laughs> now on the right, we have our volume controls and our voice commands. The voice commands are very, very smart in this vehicle and you can do almost everything with it. You can turn on your ventilated seats. Uh, you can set a new route in your nav. You can call people. You can even change the light theme. That's pretty cool. Um, over here, we do also have a star for our favorite button because you are a star. But what this really does, it's a blank button when you first get your car. All you got to do is press that and it'll take you to this menu where you can set it to do whatever you like. So if you want this to be your end call, maybe your privacy mode, your map, you can change it to do whatever you'd like, which is really nice. Uh, before we move away from the steering wheel, there's two more things I want to show you guys. And this is EV specific or Ionic 6 specific. We have pedal shifters, and these are not for changing gears because we got no gears here. This is for your regenerative braking. So this vehicle features level zero, level one, level two, level three, iPedal, and automatic regenerative braking. 
and that sounds like a mouthful for a lot of people. It's a lot. It's a mouthful for me. But what that does is it's how much kinetic energy is pulled back when you are driving. So if I have it in level three, this vehicle is really going to feel like it's yeah. braking for me when I take my foot off the gas. And it is. It's not using your real brakes, though. It's restoring energy to the battery very, very slowly. Um, and it can take you almost to a complete stop on level three, but it will take you to a full, full stop if you do have eye pedal on, which is pretty cool. So it captures back energy into your um, battery. Ooh, <laughs> mouthful. All right. Now we'll talk about a couple more things. We have two 12.3 inch displays, but that's standard for the Ionic 6. Some stuff that is exclusive to this trim level here, the Ultimate, is under vehicle. Heads up display, you can change um, the size, the brightness, the height, the lights. Let's talk ambient light. Mike, do you mind closing your door and then we can show it? Thank you. So under color, we can choose our color theme. These are some of the ones that key, or Kia, Hyundai Chem's preset, so I have wonderful day on, because that's what it is. But you know what? I think we need a little bit of mind care. So you'll see the lights change to a more pinkish tone. And then by Mike's foot over on the right, we have a purple tone. So pink and purple. Oh, cool. Isn't Look that, that wicked? Look at that. And this is during the day too, guys. So mind you, at nighttime, this will be much, much, much more noticeable. So it'd be a huge change. If you're not a fan of any of those presets, you can go to set custom color and you can pick whatever you'd like from this color wheel. And make it completely yours. Let's do green so it's a bigger change and you'll see it slowly change to this greenish color. It looks so good. Um, it also extends to the back seats, which Weird, is very it's nice. Pick up the green. <laughs> it's, it's hard to film yeah, on camera, yeah, but yeah, it is yeah, green right, guys, yeah. I promise. <laughs> oh, why can't I be driving this? This is cool. Isn't feature. this so nice? Yeah. So, so nice. You can also link it to drive mode. So if I were to put in a sport, it would turn to a red color or green for um, eco mode. But here you can see, we can also have it dimmed in the dark, sync lightning, lightning, lighting with the speed <laughs> or link to your voice recognition. So when I link it to the voice rec, um, this will, it's hard to show. You can say that, like, oh, you mean when, they, when you use the voice recognition, yeah. it will show the meter. Yeah, like, yeah so like I'm gonna summon thing. our voice recognition. I'll turn her off right away because she's kind of annoying. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't understand you. Okay. <laughs> so our voice recognition is not like Siri. She won't have a conversation with you. She just wants to get done her tasks. <laughs> she, she doesn't have I time to chit chat. Yeah. Okay. She's all business. <laughs> yeah, she's all business. <laughs> all right. Let's head to the home screen here. We do have our EV, EV menu, which I showed on our preferred, no preferred, our previous Ionic 6 video. This will show you your closest charging station. It will show your range with your climate on or with it off. It also lets you schedule your charging times and set your vehicle to load usage. So you can set how low you want your battery to be able to go to while powering accessories with the vehicle to load. All right, a couple more things that are exclusive to this trim level itself are the ventilated seats and the heated seats in the rear. So you can trigger all of this by your screen over here. So if I wanted my seat to be ventilated, I can bring this down, heated, I can bring it up, and you have three different levels to choose from for either. For my heated steering wheel, I just press that button there, nice and easy. And you could just tell your voice assistant to do this if you don't wanna go through the screens while you're driving, which is super handy. If I wanna change anything in the rear, I can go to rear warmer and then set this here myself as well. So super nice and easy. This is great if you know you're gonna be picking up people. Um, in our past vehicles, you actually have to press the buttons back there for your heated rear seats. This way you don't have to hop in the back. You can just do it through the screen. Oh, that's cool. Really nice, eh? Um, valet mode, which isn't new. Um, this is pretty new just because we never had the Ionic 6 before. We've got our start button right over here, all our climate controls here. So you can quickly press here and it'll take me to our climate control screen on the main oh. menu here. So you don't have to cycle through too many buttons. Um, quickly change things on the go. And then you do have buttons for your navigation, your media, um, a favorite button down there, and even a camera view and our parking sensors. So when I press this camera view, it'll pull up all of my cameras around the vehicle. You'll get a full 360 top down view and you get a good view of your backup camera as well. Look at the pixels, even the tiles are pixels. <laughs> <laughs> and then look at this view. Isn't oh, that's, that's cool? awesome. Oh, that's uh, like the, that's just like the, um, the Genesis yeah, when we yeah. did that. Yeah, that's awesome. So full 360 and kind of 3D view of your vehicle. This is great if you like to second guess your parking. <laughs> like, wait, am I in the lines? Just turn that on. You're like, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. With, <laughs> now I can get out. With all that it does to help <laughs> yeah. you, st I'm still going to use that. Yeah. Right? This does have parking assist too. Mm -hmm. So it can parallel park for you and reverse park for you and exit for you. It's really smart. We did a video on that as well, guys. I can't show it in this video, okay? But 
um, sunroof, so this is exclusive to the Ultimate trim. It's super wide, eh? So I actually yeah. can't reach the opposite side, but that's a good thing. Um, I also don't have to pull it to close it. It is completely powered, even your screen. And then let's get the screen. It's like a completely different car when it's closed. I will say I love a black headliner. I don't know about you guys, but mm -hmm. it just makes the car feel so much more luxurious yeah. and sporty. Um, the lights over here I thought were pretty cool. So these are LED lights inside and just the application oh, is cool. really the nice. Does, eh? Yeah. The way it like slightly or gently comes on. And then we have these lights as well. So they're um, just a little touch. Yeah, yeah, it's no nice. button. Like it's just a little kind of hover touch. Uh, let's hop in the back now and I'll show you guys what we got you over there. You chose a nice color scheme. Blue, oh. Look at this blue and green. That looks really nice. Aren't they beautiful? Right? And I love, I love the design here, yeah. right? That it grooves in so it just reflects. It almost looks like there is actual strips in it. I know on video oh, it no. always looks like the lights are pulsing, but they don't. Yeah. Oh, I totally miss when you Do turn you the car off. Do you want to show the side sill that says Ionic 6? Yeah, yeah. And when you turn the car off, the screen really did a nice little outro. <laughs> little outro. We need an outro for our videos. Never mind our cars get them. <laughs> We'll just put that one in. <laughs> awesome. Okay, here we go. All right, so my seat is very, very far back right now, but no problem because this is a very spacious back seat. Like I mentioned Look earlier, the floor is completely flat, so it doesn't matter how I like to sit. I'm completely comfy. I can still recline in my seat. I have a cup holder and armrest here, of course, if there's nobody sitting there. These two seats are heated. Let me close this actually. Well, this is an Uber vehicle. Yeah, oh. you're, you're the best Uber driver. I would be five stars, yeah. five out of five. <laughs> um, on the uh, door sills, of course, you've got your uh, door latches and then you also have your window controls and your heated seat controls if you want to turn that on yourself. There's also uh, there's also ambient light here too. Yeah. See? Oh, nice. Um, so the ambient light comes down there and it is still the dual color. So that one won't show completely because it's open, but you can see a little bit of green tinge over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So that, that's, yeah. that's definitely a good touch because yeah. you don't really get in a lot of the Hyundais. Oh, so yeah, many of our cars only do it for the front, right? Yeah. Like what about us in the back? Yeah. So it's <laughs> this and the, and the Palisade Ultimate that would, yeah. yeah that okay. do it. Awesome. Um, air vents down back here, I guess. <laughs> and then two USB-Cs, a little pocket over there to put your phone if it is charging and then mesh pockets or net pockets in the very back. I will also say the back of these seats are plastic, so if you have kids or pets, super easy to wipe down. And then of course, with the synthetic leather, it's very easy to wipe down too. Um, you do have LED lights back here as so, well. <laughs> they work. <laughs> They're good. This is like EV6 kind of, yeah, kind the of same kind of design. It. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, premium audio extends to back here too, so you still get your premium sound system. All right. Cool. Nice touching everything. I know, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm impressed too there as is, well. There's honestly so much in this vehicle. Um, I'll talk about the remote smart park assist a bit too. So I've done a video on this as well, but I'll show you guys if you're here new. You press lock, press and hold the remote start button, car turns on, and then I should show you guys. These buttons here, let me choose which direction I'd like the car to move in. So I'll move it forwards and it'll come to me. Here we go. She's so well-trained, but it will stop. I'm not gonna let go of the key. The car will stop. <laughs> that was close, eh? I got a little nervous. <laughs> you know the way the, the actual vehicle sounds is it kind of, you hear that? Oh yeah, the, the like it sounds beautiful, noise. right? Yeah. It sounds kind of like a... Yeah, so that is, well, this vehicle does tranquil. have active sound design, but it is a law in Canada, and I believe it's in all throughout North America, that electric vehicles do have to make a noise because or else, otherwise you wouldn't hear them, right? A busy parking lot, walking around, you won't hear this car coming unless you have this artificial noise. Kind of sounds like I'm in a spa a little bit. It right? is no, a little... You, you hear that? That, it, that harmonious kind of tranquil, tone? It's yeah. Is it not? Yeah, very <laughs> much so. It's super tranquil. It's the little things. <laughs> Japan Quick said, dang, that key is giving Fisher price, honestly. Hyundai Germany has different keys, I think. Yeah, so this is our very first vehicle to feature oh, this yeah, key. Yeah. I gotta be honest, I don't know how I feel about it. It feels nice, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Like, it's a pretty solid key. I just don't love the look. You know what it is for me? It's, um, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. You ever have a, I had a Tamagotchi when I was a kid, so maybe I'm biased, <laughs> but okay, I do like the concept of, of, of having an H and such. I think yeah. for me personally, the colors could have been a little bit different, but I do see how we're kind of following that Genesis, even Kias have it too as well, that side button profile, which um, Hyundai's never had before. So they made a little bit of a change up. If you look at this too, this is, isn't just a tab here, it's actually, 
It's actually the actual Real physical key. key. Yeah. I'm gonna bring it down a bit so you can see the car. I think this is a, a love it or hate it for anybody, right? Yeah, it's I mean, it's never gonna be someone in the middle. Yeah. Um, Hank asked a great question. Does this car already have the battery preconditioning already set up for charging? It does. So in cold temperatures, it will set it up. And if you set a route in your nav that is to a charging station, so if I set it to, I don't know, our Tim Hortons charger, it'll already, as I'm driving, precondition the battery to be ready to charge. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I saw a question while, while we were looking that, I mean, we don't need to scroll up. Uh, someone asked if the speed limit, if, if you need the, uh, the blue link connectivity, no, the speed limit shows on, on roads based on the mapping. Yeah. You don't have to subscribe to anything. I will say though, um, blue link is free mm -hmm. for three years and I think they actually extended it to be either 10 years or lifetime. <laughs> I don't know that, thing, US, that part of it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about it in Canada at least, but, uh, but beyond the three years. Oh, oh, another question. A lot of people asked um, the amount of colors it comes in. This was in the last video. Oh, so yeah. this is Abyss Black, and it comes in six colors. Obviously, you have your white, your reds. Uh, there's two, two shades of gray. Yeah. And there's a green. There's a green, yeah, yes. as well. Um, I, w I saw a comment, Gabby. Please give us a biography about you from your fan, number one. I don't think you guys would want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be this. It's going to be a, a montage of, yeah. this of, is, uh, of YouTube. A, all the times I've messed up in our videos. Yeah, Hyundai channel. Um, Christian M said, oh man, I want one of these. Me too. Yeah, this, this is really cool, guys. This is my favorite EV yet yeah. by, by any of us, yeah. This is really cool. Um, someone said, perfect for Uber or Lyft. If my Uber pulled up in one of these, that's a, oh, that's perfect. That's Uber Black Plus yeah, right there. Yeah, that, that right? is... Yeah. Yeah. The rims too, like when you look at the Ultimate, the way they, they have the rims on it, like yeah. at the 20s, like really, really nice. So yeah, you've seen Tuesday and you've seen today, like in my opinion, it's so much more of a difference for me at least. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's one of your fans. Oh. oh. <laughs> We've got a fan. We're actually live right now. Hey, Did you want to come, come say hi? Come on in. <laughs> We're bringing a fan in, okay? Yes, right here, right here. I know if you were fan. Just say it. Right here, right here. Right here. Just okay. say hi. Okay. Hi. Just I, say I, hi. I, I, just, I, I, I just ordered a Nero. Oh, awesome. Actually, I ordered an EV6. Nice, nice. But I'm tired of waiting, so we're going to get a Nero. A Nero, awesome. The one, the, uh, F, the fully equipped, ultimate, I guess it's called. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, then when the EV6 comes in, we might switch over. Nice. I, I, you might fall in love with the Nero, though, and not even want the EV6 anymore. Well, we, we've also ordered a Sportage PHEV. Yeah. When that comes in, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this <laughs> is I'm just here doing the paperwork, and I watch the videos every day, and you're doing a great job. See, I love that. There so is. this is actually, you know, it's being done for a reason. We have someone here. That Sorry, your name? Jim. Jim. Jim, actually, you've got some information from the videos. Did it help you with it? i got my paperwork here. Aha, uh -huh, there, there we go. Coming. There we nice, go. Nice to meet you. I just wanted to... Look at this car if I could. Yeah, for yes, sure. Yes, of course, of <laughs> we're course, done, of we're course. Done. Um, I guess when we start the video and say we're a real dealership, we're a real yeah, dealership. Yeah, so th this actually, actually that was really, I'm actually excited that that happened, right? So <laughs> not scripted, guys, live, Literally right? We've got someone here, obviously part of the family now. Um, so sorry, I'm just not good with this. Yeah, I game, so like my X Y axis is different than how the gimbal works. Um, but really cool, you know. We've got someone here that that watches the videos, got information too as well. Now part of the family has definitely purchased from us too, and um, and yeah, he's taking a look at the Ionic Six here. I guess I should also mention another uh, viewer of ours. He ordered from me in the summer from Ottawa, and he's picking up, or not picking up, we're delivering his Sportage PHEV tomorrow, so we have it on the truck and trailer. We should show the truck and trailer, actually. Yeah? Um, okay. Yeah, it's Let's just it. outside the window there. Oh, see? I'm, uh, this, is, this is beyond my wheel well <laughs> here, so. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. Can we, you think it will cut off? No? Oh, we'll just open, like, the blinds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right when I go outside, live lost. So there okay. you go, on the back of that truck there, it's going up to Ottawa tomorrow. Oh no, it's where the it won't okay. zoom in. It, it, it won't if like you go in this room. Yeah. Oh, nice. Isn't that there cool? we go. That's awesome. Yeah. Can't afford that. So we're real ready. dealership. <laughs> Not scripted. Yeah. <laughs> Not scripted. Real dealership. Real people. And uh, and that was cool. That, that was, that was cool. wicked. You know, we kind I was of played not it off the cuff, that. right? That yeah, he literally <laughs> just popped in to say hi and we said, hey. Let's get, hey. To, let's get on the channel. Um, have y'all ever seen a car with zero miles? And the answer is no. 
Um, and the reason for that is um, the way our Kia and Hyundai vehicles come, they're on a ship, and before that or after that, they're also in a compound yard where they have to move the cars around, park them. What's the lowest you've seen? I think it's always like six or seven. It's yeah. always six yeah. or seven. Yeah, I've seen, no, I think I've seen like, oh no, I saw the other day I saw three, and I was yeah. like, whoa. I'm gonna put the first uh, the first ten on it. <laughs> yeah. So unless we actually visit the factory, I don't mm -hmm. think we'll ever see one with zero zero kilometers, zero miles. Um, let's see. I ask about the screen mirror on the inside of the car. That replacement off the. I'm not sure I understand. Sorry. Where is that? Where is that question? I by okay. RA. I have asked about the screen mirror on the mm -hmm. inside of the car. The replacement of the mirror. <laughs> uh, sorry. Retype that if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. Um, <laughs> you know this autocorrect feature and everything. It's it's the uh, it hits me too. Christian M said, "Oh, and all this time I thought you guys were filming in a TV show set. I know it comes off that well scripted and that professional, and our camera quality is always perfect, oh, and no. there's never any distractions. But yes, it is live. Like you walk through <laughs> that door, it's the detail. You know, it's a detail bay. So know? it's our lunchroom first. And the lunch, yeah, lunchroom first. <laughs> you walk through that door, it's a sales floor. So no, yeah, yeah this is um, real deal here." Um, can you test drive some cars for future videos? Absolutely. We're actually planning on filming this car and the Nero EV Limited for mm -hmm. test drive. Um, we should probably end off today's video soon. <laughs> because I think we had a lot of fun this one. Oh, honestly. this was so much was fun. fun. This is yeah. definitely chaotic. <laughs> um, <laughs> is, so is this vehicle, Angel asked, is this the vehicle to compare with the EV6? Um, not directly. I would probably more so compare it to sedan type EVs, mm -hmm. although it is on the same platform as the EV6. I'd compare it to the Model 3, the Tesla Model 3, um, the Polestar 2, which it's bigger than, by the way, it's bigger than both those cars, mm -hmm. lengthwise and width, just so you know. Um, <laughs> and uh, I mean, EV6 is a competitor too, but I wouldn't say it's a direct competitor. Um, I might actually work on some of the housing in Brantford, have to do research. Ooh. One day, can you show us your used cars on the car on the car lot in cars? Um, yes, maybe. <laughs> maybe. We'll do it at, on our lot because we have a ton yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's you know, it's tis the season right tis, now. Tis right? the season. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of people are buying, selling, so on and so forth. So uh, we all know the inventory issues, and we are. I like mm -hmm. to say we're in a good position with that too, guys. Oh, right now it's great. Yeah. So things are getting uh, better. Visit our site. Uh, as for our uh, the location, the Hyundai location. We actually, oh, I want to say this last thing. We actually have over 40 new cars that are available for sale. And what? not, you don't need to order them. What? <laughs> so that should hit the website, guys, in a day. Um, I'm going to be in charge of obviously turning it on. And you'll actually have inventory on site you can purchase. Uh, yeah, I, I guess we're coming into those times now, right? I can't believe it. I know. This I thought, you know, after post-COVID, I thought, like, when are we going to get inventory we can sell and not order? But uh, the day's here, so. Tom Sawyer said, whoa, I was just about to ask about inventory issues, and you said that. Mike, he is also a mind reader. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I knew you were going to type that, Tom. We no. are all very <laughs> talented here. <laughs> yeah, so. All right, guys. I think that's it for today's video. As always, this will be posted as a regular video. So if you missed anything or if we missed anything, please let us know in the comments down below, and we'll try our best to answer them. Um, we will be going live again tomorrow, and then stay tuned for some test drive videos. we got to film them and edit them, yes. but they will come. They'll come. <laughs> all right, have a good rest of your day.